Oh, hey y'all, Fatty here, and thanks for joining me in Arctic Attic. And today I am bringing you the Element Shard and Black Pearl Farming Guide for the Crystal Isles map. And you know what? Let's just jump right into it. So when Genesis first dropped out, I put out a video how to farm element shards, and it did really good, really amazing, and it seemed really helpful to people. So I kind of want to do the same thing for Crystal Isles. Now this one I'm going to go cover the three main places or two main places where you can get uh, element shards that are just going to be a ton in one little area without a lot of really dangerous things to get you, and as well as two locations around the same area where you can get a lot of black pearls so you can just maximize your resource gathering all to the very best of your capability. So let's just uh, jump into where we can find element first. So the very first location we're going to be able to find these element shards is going to be located at 31.0575.27. Now it's different on every map what these rocks look like. So in this one it's going to look like these little crystal nodes and it's going to be the, the smallest of them and they're going to be blue. Um, and from these nodes you're going to get crystal, blue gems, red gems, green gems, and as well as the element shards as well. Now there are a ton of them. So you know this is the only place where you're going to really be able to get them is in this arctic zone. Now you can find them you know a decent amount of places like all over the map but the, this is one of the more located ones uh, like concentrated locations as well as one of the safer ones. A lot of these ones are really like cluttered with Othoplura, um, you know, uh, Udys as well, stuff like that, Plurlo, Perlovia, but all those really awful, terrible, nasty things. So you just got to really be careful and watch your back in these areas. Um, I totally found like an Anki is going to be the absolute best way to do it. Um, you're going to get quite a bit and the Anki has like the Lord carried weight. Now it doesn't work on shards, but shards to begin with aren't like the heaviest thing in the world. So it's not going to be the biggest thing to worry about. Now, another location where you're going to find element shards is going to be at 23.573.4. Now, this one is going to actually be like a, I don't want to call it a cave because it's not quite a cave, but it's like this big, giant, open, like, dome kind of area where there's lots of these little bubbles as well, and as well as just a ton of metal scatt scattered around. But then again, on the sides, you're going to see a ton of these element shards just littered through here. And as well as you're going to find one of the artifacts, the artifact of the shadows. Artifact of the shadows. So that's going to be located down there as well. So, you know, you can go to this one resource spot and, you know, load up on metal, load up on element shards and stuff like that. Now, a lot of people in my last video didn't understand what you need to do with element shards to actually get them into true usable element. So for to do that, you're gonna actually have to do the boss battle for this one. Now, if you're playing on like a boosted server or uh, you know, it's like a slotty, slightly modified server and you can get to the tech replicator, you can make element shards and transfer them into element in the tech replicator if you have that unlocked. Now on a map like uh, Crystal Isles, you're gonna actually have to be defeat the boss to get the original element you're going to need and to unlock the engram to be able to actually build that as well. So that's something you got to keep in mind. But you know, when you're really wanting to metal farm and kind of get set up for that end game, it's a great spot to go get a ton, a ton of metal, collect those element shards, get them ready to go. So when you actually do hit that level or you're able to finally go beat that boss, you're going to be able to go in there and just knock it out. So even to build the tech replicator, there is going to be one other thing that you're desperately, desperately going to need, and that is going to be black pearls. So black pearls are also going to be found in this area, and in my opinion, this is one of the easier areas to get them from, are these bubbles. Now, two bubbles are going to be located at 26.38, 75.24. Um, and this one had several in them, and when you actually went to this one, there wasn't many, um, there wasn't actually any dinosaurs in this one, or like any um, anglerfish, eels, anything like that. So piranhas, that one's going to be really nice. Um, we also went to this other one, and for us right now, it's glitching out, and there is no dinosaurs in it, and there was no water, and it made it really, really, really easy to get them if you had a grappling hook. This one's going to be located at 21.7 and 73.5. So this one is going to be a great one where you can just go in there, clear it out, and not really have to worry about anything. Now, if you are having a hard time, because you're going to get shocked in this area, like you're getting stung by an eel, and you're just going to kind of slow down and be in like place for just a second, so a great way to, to kind of counteract that if you're in the bubble with all those dangerous creatures is just get to the edge and they're going to be lured into you. Maybe have like a crossbow or something like that that you can kind of shoot out and draw them to you and then just pop out the edge of the bubble. Every once in a while in the blue moon, they're going to be a little bit too aggressive, a little too happy to come right at you and they're just going to pop out and instantly die and then, you know, you don't even have to worry about it. But other than that, then they all swim towards the edge. You're safe. They can't get out of there. You can crossbow them. You can pike them. You can do a bunch of different options to keep yourself safe. And then once they're kind of cleared out, you got that XP, 
you're safe, and now you can go get all those black pearls. So it's just going to be like really the number one option for you to do. Well, thank you guys as always so much for watching. I did recently just finish doing the the join button membership down below, so go check that out. You know, you can support the channel for like $1.99 a month, and you get exclusive uh, badges and as well as emojis. So if you've been around here for a while and you kind of want to show how long you've been around here, that's a great way to kind of kind of flex your fatty support. As well as I did drop merch that's going to be in the description down below. There's coffee mugs, t-shirts, stickers, stuff like that. Anything you guys do at all, you know, sharing, commenting, liking, all that supports the channel like so much. So I really appreciate it and uh i can't wait to guys see you guys in the next video i am going to be streaming tomorrow i stream mondays and fridays and i make t videos on tuesdays and thursdays like today so uh yeah check that out and uh bless you guys and uh peace